Alright title, we got board briefing August 28th, that's Sunday, and we're looking at the workout called Balls to the Wall. Alright, so what we have warm up, three sets, nine different movements. Specific warm up, we're going to break down the wall ball, position, squatting, throwing, all that good stuff. Four progressions there. A little bit of a test round for the workout. 100 meter weighted run, 10 wall balls. And those wall balls should be unbroken, so should the run. All right, so we're looking to use our workout weight here because the, the, the workout does prescribe that you use a med ball to do the run, all right? Unless we've got an injury, stuff like that. If we have an injury, there's an opportunity to ride the bike, but also carrying a med ball sort of, not sort of, gives a proper stimulus of running with a med ball. Kind of hard to row with a med ball, but you get what I mean. All right, so workout balls to the wall five rounds each round is three minutes okay you're going to do a 200 meter weighted run and you're going to use the same med ball that you're going to use for wall balls so if you're doing rx it's a 14 pound ball fall 14 or 20 pound ball respectively so you do the 200 meter run you come back with the remaining time in that three minutes you're going to try to do max wall balls can I drop the ball? Absolutely. Should you hang on to the ball for big sets? Absolutely. After each round, there'll be a one minute rest. That's why we want to like sort of max out our effort right there and that, okay? Level two, exact same workout, time domain, all the stuff. The only thing that changes is the med ball is a little bit lighter at 10 and 14 pounds. Level one, exact same thing, rep scheme time. Uh, the med ball is at eight and 10 pounds respectively. Okay, so after that, we've got some skill work, some core stuff. So four sets, 20 seconds of sit-ups, 10 seconds of rest, 20 seconds of hollow rocks, 10 seconds of rest. Back to the workout, things we're looking for. Can we get that run done in 90 seconds or less? If we're over 90 seconds, let's cut down the run by 50 meters. Okay, especially if it's happening in the first round. Um, let's aim to be around a minute even some some guys or some girls might be um, 45 seconds or so, right? Starting fresh, get out there, um, carrying that med ball, first couple rounds will go by quick, might start to slow down. Let's try to keep it under a minute and a half. Um, goals for the med ball, okay? Set, or not set to 20, but 20 wall balls is the minimum we're looking for on the wall ball sets. So if you have to grab a lighter ball to make that happen, let's do so. Um, however, on the first round, let's really challenge ourselves and see if we can do it um, with a weight that you want to deal with. And then if start, stuff starts going a little bit awry or we're not able to get 20 wall balls or runs are taking a little bit too long, uh, you know, maybe knock the run down or knock the weight off the ball a little bit. Okay, so that's, that's our way of scaling and metering this workout to, to tailor to everyone. We're looking for, again, just to reiterate, minute and a half runs, give you a minute and a half of wall balls, and that minute and a half, we should be able to get 20, okay? Anywhere between 20 and 15 and upwards. All right, guys, that is our workout. I won't bore you anymore. Let's get after it tomorrow. Have some fun with these weighted runs. Oh, yeah, one other thing. Don't carry a ball in your head, okay? All right, guys, enjoy the workout.